Hi, thanks for joining my lightning talk. My name is Iris de Ruiter, and in this talk, I'll discuss how to use radio surveys to look for transients. Uh, this talk is based on the study listed below, and these are my collaborators. In this study, we used two readily available radio surveys to find transients. We compare TGSS ADR1 and LOTS data release 2, both at 150 megahertz. These surveys were performed roughly a decade apart and have very different sensitivity and resolution. These differences are reflected in the source count. We look for sources that are transient over roughly a decade. These include AGN or brighter GRB afterglows and tidal disruption events. We find one variable source, likely a QSO, and no transient sources. However, we do develop some strategies in order to compare two very different radio surveys. The first strategy is to only compare compact sources, so sources with a physical size below 10 light years, because only these can be variable on timescales of a decade. We filter out compact sources uh, using source catalog parameters, so this strategy should be straightforwardly uh, applicable to other surveys. A second strategy is to reduce the side lobe artifacts that arise around bright sources, because these can be interpreted as false positive transient candidates. To reduce this effect, we stack all bright sources together, like shown on the left, um, and we expect to see something like this for a perfectly cleaned and calibrated survey. However, in reality, we see something like this. Um, these white patches uh, aren't real sources, um, but they are cumulative artifacts. Uh, we can use an image like this to exclude a small area uh, around bright sources from our transient search, uh, which will drastically reduce the number of false positive transient candidates. Finally, using two widely different surveys, we have to take into account the flux scale alignment. This figure uh, on the right here shows for a bright point shows for bright point sources the difference in integrated flux density between the two surveys normalized by the errors. For perfectly aligned flux scales, uh, we expect to see a Gaussian centered around zero with the width of one. Um, however, the misaligned flux scale uh, between LOTS and TGSS can lead us to interpret sources as variable. We therefore suggest to compare the flux difference of one source uh, between the two surveys to a local flux difference distribution, similar to the one shown in the image. Only when there's a significant offset between the flux difference of the specific source and the local distribution, we should explore this source as a variable or transient. This was my lightning talk, but let's discuss more. I'm available on the Solve Slack, and this is my email address. Uh, and thank you all for listening.